And here we are back in Marrakech in the Indoor World Cup Stage 1 with the recurve competition starting right now. And with me, Chris Wells, World Archery Communication Manager, the men who make the, the news of World Archery go around the world. <laughs> well, I thought you were going to say the man that makes the world go around, then I'm going to get all embarrassed. No, no. Well, thank you for being here again. And we have uh, in the bronze final of Recruit Women, let me know who is here. We've got Cecile Monfort, I think I've pronounced that correctly. Um, I think so. Uh, 13th seed, made her way through the rankings, upset, upset the field to make this final. And Randy Dane, she, uh, she shot the finals in Nimes last year. She's a Danish international. And, uh, and I've, my replacement's arrived. A replacement here. Who is the replacement? The winner of the of the of the last match we've had. The no, Stefan Hansen is coming here. So thank you very much and goodbye. Oh, thank you, Welly, for being here and let's welcome Stefan in in few seconds. He's taking the position. He's coming with his arrows. <laughs> I hope it's not for me. No, I, I think I think he come with peace. Good. <laughs> okay, Stefan. Congratulations, first of all. Thank you. Well done. It was a fantastic match. You were yeah. really, really focused there. Yeah, it felt so perfect. It was just <laughs> in my moment, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you look very really relaxed. You look really... I love your relaxed position, <laughs> how the release goes. Is yeah, in the second and third end, it was a bit shaky. I could feel my leg was shaking <laughs> and all that, but it's about not showing it to the other one, I think. We were talking about that. We were talking about the archer from outside. You look very relaxed and calm yeah. as everything in the control, and inside yeah. is a different world. <laughs> yeah, it's shaking like shit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for being so honest, because uh, <laughs> from outside, the one, the only challenge we have in archery is we see archers shooting, and they look like you can see very relaxed on the control, yeah, but yeah. inside it's happening something yeah, very different. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. and a guy like you admitting it thank you <laughs> <laughs> good we go back to this and first of all thank you very much for hey. coming by and for yeah, helping us to talk about recurve and we have uh, Degen started with uh, 18 and we have Monfort uh, Cecile who started with a 7 oh. and now a 9 yeah. and uh, trying to get the first the first ends of a final like this you have to find your position yeah. your feeling so yeah, yeah yeah see if the side is the same as you at practice field the light can be a bit different and everything so yeah it's interesting the first three arrows did you find the friend from the practice to here no my first arrow went dead center so it was perfect excellent I mean, you know we had a lot of struggle with the lights yeah, yeah, yeah. but <laughs> it was perfect no problem, okay no. good to hear you know for us it's difficult to get the light because one thing is the light you need as an archer you know the one what we need for camera here another thing what we didn't need for photograph yeah, 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 yeah. so it's not easy especially when you have a short time to to set up everything is challenging yeah, but indoor i don't think it have that much effect for indoor because it's just 18 meters it doesn't move that much but for outdoor or especially shooting above water or something like that can have a really big change. Oh, you don't know about water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because the light is coming from down, yeah, from yeah. up, it's changing, it's yeah, moving. Things, yeah. yeah, right. You know, we, we in World Archery like to put our archers in some challenging situation mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's interesting. just to make the show a bit better. Yeah. But what our concern always is that it's the same situation for both. Mm. Sometimes it's not yeah. the ideal one, but if it's fair for both archers, yeah, 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 yeah. it's what matters to us. Good. I was talking before that you will have for sure a fan following you, Aida, from Mexico. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I think she just woke up or something like that. It's morning okay. over there. <laughs> Good. And uh, so you have experience in recurve women yeah. competition. So let's see if we can get some tips from you <laughs> and the shooting style. <laughs> Say Cecile. Monfort is a surprise. She is not a regular in the top level circuit. It's good to see an archer from Switzerland coming to a bronze medal match. When Degen has been a bit more, yeah. a bit more used to this type of competition. Yeah, that's the cool thing about archery. You can see the archer is coming from maybe uh, 10, 20 yeah. from the qualification and going all the way up to the finals because it's so close, especially indoor. Indoor, yes. Yeah. It's no room for too many mistakes. Yeah. You can see she... Oh. Didn't look really good, but yes. it hit the middle. The first thing we can realize the comparing to, to you guys is that the circle of the 10 is huge compared <laughs> to the little one you have. 
And you know, in compounds, they're using the, the X ring in a 10 as a 10, and for recurve, is a regular 10 without oh. the X ring inside. Yeah. So we can see quite a difference. There. The yeah. timing was good yes. before she was taking yeah. much more time. Yeah, I know she have just been in Korea for a training camp with the national team oh for yeah. a couple of weeks. It's but like a week ago she came home from. And you know she was with Kim Yun Tak in yep. the center. Yes. Okay, she went to the Kim Yun Tak center together with Maya and all the girls ah, yeah. from Denmark. Yeah. Ah, good information. You know Kim Yun Tak, uh, one of the best coaches in the world, who was a center close to Seoul, an hour and a half from Seoul. Many of the top artists have been there, many countries. He was talking, we were talking to him in summer. He has more than 2,000 archers has passed there, <laughs> with more than 30 countries. I think we have already 40 countries going there. So it's a, it's a really, really experienced guy working with archers. And, and Maya, of course, is one of his best uh, ambassador of, she's living there in Korea for yeah. three, four years already. Yeah, two, three years, yeah. I think. Yeah, she started speaking uh, Korean and everything. She can speak it perfectly now. Unbelievable. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it's really cool. Together with uh, another Danish guy, they live over there, over there and yeah. studying uh, on the university and all. I, I really admire this. They have the courage and the focus and determination. I want to become better, so I have to go to Korea and yeah. I go there. Go from family and leave everything and then just go to Korea. And, and, and you know the culture and the habits is completely different to Denmark. The food is completely <laughs> different. Yes, and here we have in the match 27 Cecile against 29 Randy. Randy is leading my two points. Two points in recurve is more or less nothing. Yeah. Everything can happen. When we were talking before in compound, in your position, two points is hard to come back. Three is more or less impossible. Yeah. yeah. So we were, we were talking with Welly that one point is nothing. Yeah. Two points is a lot. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. When in recurve, two, three points in the first and you can come back well, in the first set because now we are in the set system recurve has adopted the set system since yeah. a couple of years when yeah. recompound you have ends you have five ends yeah it makes it a lot more interesting sometimes that you can have a bad end and then next round you shoot a good end and then you are back two and two even that that was yeah. exactly the the goal yes. we had in war archery is to make the game different you guys can make the perfect score and we are all watching to, to see you making 150. When for, for recurve is more in the set uh, point where a bad end can be compensated by the next one coming back. So we keep the match alive until as much as possible. If it's a huge difference, it's finished in six zero, three sets and finish. If there is not a huge difference, you make it excited until the end. Like it's happened now because Tegan was shooting better than Cecile, but now with the seven, can put it back on track. Ten to win. Mm, to win the set, correct? She also just moved to another city in Denmark just to uh, to practice with the national team. Ah, yes, for archery. Uh, yeah, just for archery, and uh, it's like I think three, four hundred kilometers away from Copenhagen, and mm. they can practice there all the time and living on a on a. That's called in English, but like uh, close to a university yep. with some school things and all that. We can see in the, in the third set, and we are waiting, but it seems that the seed came back, so it will be a 2 4. Um, seems that was a tie. Yeah, it was just on the line. One was a liner, so we have a 5 1. That sounds good for Randy, but not so good for Cecile. Of course, she can still come back. She can get it to the shoot-off. So she made a good compromise in her life. She went to Korea to get better. Then she moved her uh, town to live, to be closer to where she can practice more often and have the national coach there and they can practice together all the time or wow so she she knows what she want yeah she is trying to get it all the way to olympic it's a bit long 
He's hesitating. Ah, yeah. It's not easy in a recurve bow when you stay longer. It's much more pressure yeah. than in the compound, so you get fatigue. It's important to keep the, the movement and the expansion. As soon as you stop a little bit, you, you pay for it, you suffer. Start Those to be a lottery. Years, more time is more lottery, like that one. Yeah, wow. getting long. That's actually yeah. the same for me. My routine has to be the same over and over again. I saw that the, the one that was the right timing, no doubt. What I like, you were saying yeah before. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can feel it on the shot. I don't need the pinnacle arc. Actually. You feel it and you yeah, say it. Yeah. We were watching you and you just when you release a yeah, so we yeah. could see that really was a good shot, yeah. even before, before seeing <laughs> hitting. That's she's a little bit on the right. Yeah, she just touched the side. Yeah. She knew that was not. Just her shooting. She could hear your thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hope you cannot <laughs> hear me there. <laughs> so a seven to win. She can do that. Mm -hmm. It's enough. Still on the right. She yeah. didn't touch enough. And this is something in the curve archer happen very often. We are on the right and we make one click. We yeah, should make yeah, four yeah. or five. It's better to have an a eight on the other side than a lot of seven the same. Yeah, <laughs> right. yeah definitely. Yeah, when so you get nervous, you sometimes doesn't feel to change the side too much. And nervous or lack of confidence. They say, okay, I will move, but just in case, not so much. Okay, that's something I, I struggle with my archers, that when he's on the right, he has moved three or four times. Don't make one little click. And the next one is another on the left, another on the left, another. You need four arrows to put it back yeah. in the center. Yeah, sometimes with compound, we give it one or two click, but it's more like mentally because yeah. we, we know that the side is actually right, so it's just about the mental feeling yeah. and all that. Okay, the shot, shot just went off to the right, so you just change the side a click and you feel in your brain, you move the side, but it doesn't <laughs> change anything. So Randy Degen is the winner and for sure a good motivation for all the effort she's doing and, and uh, the changes she's doing in her life. Yes. So congratulations Randy and we wish her a good luck for the next <laughs> part of the season.